Jane, first of all, if you're the ECB and if you're actually a euro trader, how do you look at the, the Catalonia independence bid? Well, we've seen the euro weakening a little bit, but I do think it's ECB, which is perhaps going to be the bigger event this week. I mean, in terms of Catalonia, yes, it's confusing. Yes, it's, it's detrimental to the Spanish economy. We saw this, the, the Spanish government revising down its yep. forecast for Spain last week. Um, however, it does appear that it is contained. Um, if that were to change, if we were to get more independence bids and I know parts of Italy or whatever, yep. clearly that changes the picture. But for now, that's not the case. So I think it's going to be, whilst that is a negative, I think it will be the ECB meeting yep. that is a much bigger factor this week. Uh, but Jane, would that play out on euro or would it also play out? I have the spread here between Spanish and German bonds. Does it play out in the bond market more than, than euro longer term? Uh, I think it plays out in both, but I think the euro has been particularly interesting in, in recent weeks. And I say that in the context of, of euro dollar, because if we look at the dollar, perhaps over the last month or so, there's a lot of, uh, of signals, particularly technical signals, in some of the other dollar crosses, emerging markets, for instance, that shows that the, 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 the dollar bulls are potentially waiting in the wings, that the dollar is, is about to break higher. Now, this in part could be linked to tax reform in the U.S. We, we've seen U.S. yields on the long end pushing up at the end of last week. That, of course, is, is, a, is a dollar positive mm -hmm. if that were to continue. Uh, but the market has been reluctant to, to really sell the euro, despite all this speculation that the dollar could be turning. And I think one of the reasons is this speculation that we could see quite a lot potentially of, of tapering from the ECB. So if the market is disappointed from the ECB, if it turns out that that meeting is, is more dovish or gives more dovish signals than the market expects, then we could see more capitulation of the euro towards those, yeah. those dollar bulls.